everyone, it's the English Simmer here, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Generation Season 2 Part 10, I think this is. So the kids are just arriving. Obviously, um, little Lester Lavelle is back, and uh, so we're going to have to look after him. What's wrong with you? He is not having fun. Well, Lee, take care of that yourself. And Lester's hungry, so we're going to feed him on the floor. And now Lee is smelly, so we're going to change his dirty diaper. And Ice... Why is my game being so, like, glitchy? Um, Ice actually has the day off work today, which is awesome. So he can definitely help out with the kids, which is what I am planning on doing. Ice, can you actually... Don't feed him in the high chair. Pause this. You look after him, and Ice can look after Lester. Okay, we're going to feed him on the floor, and then we're also going to continue to teach him how to talk, because that will definitely help Devon. So Ice can look after Lee whilst she teaches him how to talk a little bit. And also, major apologies if you guys can hear the wind in the background of this video. I have no clue what is going on. It seems to be across the whole of Europe, but everywhere is so windy right now and there's hailstorms and it keeps raining like a ton so i really have no clue what's going on ice can you actually um go out here uh not on the slope but go here and practice your guitar a little bit whilst devon continues oi why have you put him in there pick him up pick up lee and you stop barking dog Stop following him. <laughs> you obviously can't get in there. You're a dog. Uh, why don't you just go and run around? Go and do that. She's going to pick up Lee. And how's... Whoa. How's little Lester doing? I hate when my game does that. Lester is smelly. So we're going to have to feed him. Right. Feed him on the floor. And then we want to change his diaper. Ice, are you out there? Go a little bit further. Just so you're away from the house. Go on. Go all the way over there. Good friends are hard to come by. You need to make time for them, noted Everest Frost, after recently being invited on a walkabout by Michael. Oh, cute. <laughs> Family bonding session over there. We are going to play alone. So he's just going to play his guitar out there. Play it over there. Do not walk back over here. I do not want to hear you play. There we go. That's what I like to see. Oh no, we have another child. What's her name? Or his name? Is his name Carl? Carol. Oh, I thought it was Carl. I got excited then. <laughs> um, what's wrong with you? You're hungry, but we'll get ice to look after you. We're going to teach him how to talk. Do not put him in his playpen, I swear. This dog is going insane. Ice is working on his guitar. How long does he have until he levels up? Oh, forever. Sorry, Ice, but I think I'm going to need you to actually help look after these little kiddlywinks. Poor Carol. She's bald. Bless her. She's clearly not. She's a late bloomer. She hasn't grown any hair yet. We're going to snuggle her because she is feeling quite lonely. We're going to snuggle her and we are going to attack her with the claw. And we are also going to toss her in the air. I think today, I think we'll try and have Abby actually go over to Alexis's house and try and meet her brother and sister. I'm fairly sure Alexis had another baby. Or maybe they're pregnant. I think they're expecting again. And speaking of expecting, so many of you guys wanted me to actually get the fertility for ice so that they could be likely to conceive better and also maybe get twins and he does have enough um reward points for it so we are actually going to do it we're going to get the uh fertility treatment so we're going to purchase that so there we go we are going to have these two try for a baby again once her work day is over he wants to buy a tree house i think that's a good idea for abby but um i don't know if we have enough simoleons right now so I think we will wait until we save up a little bit. But there we go. Lester knows how to talk, which is awesome. That's definitely going to give us a raise. Um, he'd like to be having more fun. He'd like to be having more fun. And this one is lonely, but Ice is going to look after her. Ice, can you actually look after her? There are too many people in this room right now. Um, you need to change his dirty diaper just so he's not smelly. 
Ice, can you also um, feed her on the floor? There we go. Oh, he just picked up Carol for the first time. They were seeing arm in arm. Cutie pies. <laughs> that is quite adorable. What is wrong with everyone? He'd be like to be having more fun. Right, we're going to put him down. Just so he can take care of himself and play with some toys. And we are obviously going to feed her on the floor. And then Ice needs to actually um, use this. And he, he can clean this and then take a shower. He does no work around the house. <laughs> like, at all. Willow Dunning's experiment is successful. Willow has been granted... Okay, did not need to know that... She, I don't even know who Willow is. Like, we keep getting notifications about her, and I have no clue who she is. She is smelly. Carol, why'd you poo in your diaper, damn it? Oh, she is cute. Even if she is a late bloomer and hasn't grown hair yet. What's she doing? Is she chasing him? I thought she was just running around like a mindless zombie. We're going to change Carol's diaper because she is smelly. Lee's in a good mood. He would like to be having more fun, but he's now playing with a little sheep. So his fun should go up. He is so adorable. I might be biased because he is actually in our family, but he is so cute. He got good genes. He definitely got Noel's genes. Carol, what's wrong? You'd like to be having more fun. That means we're going to put you down so you can go play with some toys. Look at little Maxi over here. He's so cute. So Ice is doing that. Um, definitely going to have him probably go back out and uh, work on his guitar. So go over here once you've finished in the shower. And she's mopping up some puddles. Oh, oh outside. It must have been a dog pee. <laughs> um, Lee wants to socialise a little. We are going to uh, snuggle him then, I guess, if he wants to socialise. And we're also going to attack him with the claw. And where's Carol? Carol, where have you gone? Look who's getting hitched. Jared Osborne and Alexis Tidley. Be sure to stop by and congratulate the couple before the big day arrives. <gasps> so they are now getting married, which is insane. I never thought Alexis would be one to... um actually get married and Jared is a dark horse if she were ever to get married I thought it would be to Ben because they kind of had a thing at the end of the last season so I expected those two to stay together but they quite clearly didn't which definitely surprises me a lot uh, we're gonna feed him on the floor and Ice are you over there almost I guess you can just play guitar there buddy uh, grab your guitar out of your inventory and play alone. Play it right there. Don't come walking back. I won't be happy. <laughs> so he's going to play that. Does Abby actually have... Um... Why isn't... Why, why is her after school activity not here? What the heck? Why is her after school activity disappeared? Is that because she already got a ballet trophy? I'm confused. I, can she not go up? I want to see whether she has ballet, but it doesn't look like it's even there anymore. Which is kind of annoying. Oh man. Oh well. She's on her way home anyway, so she quite clearly doesn't have ballet today. I do want to plie though. What is this? What is that? Oh, it's a toy. I was like, what the heck is that? Okay, he's in a great mood, um, he's in a great mood, and she'd like to be having more fun. He's a little hungry, so we're actually going to feed him on the floor. And here we go, she is back from school, and tomorrow is um, leisure day, so she doesn't actually need to do her homework tonight. We're going to see if her mum's in. Um, that's the Bianchis. Alexis is out at the moment of course she bloody is she always is i guess we're gonna have her come um i was gonna chill at this pond just to wait for her mum but there's literally like nothing here there's a park bench and i kind of don't want her hanging around shady areas and park benches so we're gonna go have her play on the playground just while she waits for her mum to get back home and she's still looking after after the babas they're all in pretty good moods though we just need to feed Lee 
Um, Carol, how are you doing? Hiding in that <laughs> little creep. <laughs> She's just like stalking them all. Lester's have in a great mood. He's in a good mood. He's a little hungry and she's in a great mood. So really can't do much better than that, can we? I think we should go use the bathroom though, because that we do need to use that. And um do we have anything to eat for dinner? We have some autumn salad. I guess Ice can actually cook something a little bit better than that. He should have probably done a performance today. Can we still do a performance? I think we should go do a performance at his workplace. So um, let's go do that. Where is it? Right, we are going to go perform a concert. And uh, daycare. Oh, that's cute that it's on the map as daycare. Our house is becoming famous, guys. We're on the map. We made it to the map. He's a little smelly, so we're going to change his diaper. It's so hard keeping an eye on all these kids. We're going to feed her on the floor and he's doing great. So, And we're also probably going to do really well for um, actually teaching him how to speak. Like, I think Danny is going to be impressed. I think Devon might actually go up in Danny's good books for um, for teaching her son how to talk. Do we even know Danny? We know her a little bit. So we definitely need to... Um, we definitely need to get to know her a bit more. Noel Frost, nosy neighbours who obviously have little to keep them occupied, recently noted the arrival of Danny Lavelle at Noel's front door. By the sounds of it, Danny was feeling lonely and needed to see her partner immediately. Immediately. <laughs> okay, so those two are still together, which is cute. Is Alexis back home yet? Yeah, probably not, because she's like always out. Alexis is out at the moment. Alexis, I just want to visit our little brother and sister. Can we go just stand outside her house? This does not look big enough to hold kids. We're just going to go over there and just wait outside our mum's house. Oh, that's the back door. That's kind of creepy. Go over here instead. Go stand on the porch. Um, but yeah, this house does not look big enough to hold babies. Like, she has one baby and another on the way, so... It definitely doesn't look big enough to hold everyone that lives there because I'm fairly sure Jared will now live with her too considering they're getting married which I'm guessing they would live together but who knows Lee has no problems Carol has no problems and Lester wants to socialize a little so that means use Lee can you move out of our way please go over here and let Lee out uh I guess you can um Attack him with the claw. Lee, leave the room. <laughs> we need to pee, child. Please just let us pee. Is he still performing? Yes, he is. We're not going to get to know this random lady. We're going to use this, though. And Max, why don't you grab something to eat? Eat from your bowl. Looks like the parent of Lester Lavelle will be late. Devon will need to take care of this child until the parent shows up. Seriously? We just taught your kid how to speak, and now you're going to be late. Why do you do this to me? She has come to pick someone up, so um, she's going to pick up Lee, which is good. We can finally pee in peace without Lee watching us. And he's coming to pick up this little one over here, but we are going to have to have Lester, which is okay because he is our family, so obviously I don't mind him staying for a little bit longer, and... He has room for a snack, so we're not going to feed him in high chair. We are going to feed him on the floor. That's what we're going to do. How's Maxi? Oh, he needs to sleep. Max, why don't you go to sleep? You're really, really tired. And then Ice can... Um, I kind of want that her to him to visit Alexis as well. Uh, is Alexis back yet? She's still out. Alexis, I hate you. <laughs> Belle is out at the park, apparently. Ooh, is she at the festival? I want to see if Belle's here. If Belle's here, we'll go visit Auntie Belle. But um, I don't know which park it means. It could literally mean anything. So doesn't look like she is here from what I can see. Um, no, I'm fairly sure Belle isn't here, which is annoying. Kind of wanted to see her. But that's fine. We'll still go stalk our mum. See if she's there. <laughs> gonna come back anytime soon i have no idea what she works as but it's quite terrifying because she is always away 
Where's where's Lester? Oh, he's still over here. He's a little smelly. Okay, we're going to change his diaper. And Devon, can you actually serve some I uh, get you ate waffles, but serve some serve some hot dogs. Mm. -mm. That'd be a nice treat for her to come back to. Um so she got good great and something else wow carol funk is in a great mood today you did a good job thanks for taking such good care of lee sanford i will recommend you to my friend please don't i don't want any more children <laughs> oh Alyssa's here to pick up um to pick up little lester so we're gonna put him down on the floor and we're gonna eat some leftover autumn salad and is alexis back yet i really just Oh, she's had to walk all the way. Oh, my goodness. She didn't even, like, take her bike or anything. Thank you for working a little overtime. Here's 31 simoleons to make up for the extra time. Lester and I really appreciate it. I am truly grateful. Is Noel at our house currently? Is he here? Are you here, though? Ah, No. It was Alyssa who picked him up, so... He didn't actually pick her up. I wanted to see Noel. Maybe we should invite someone round. I don't know who though. Um, should we invite Belle round? Let's uh, just invite her over. I'm not going to invite the whole household just because there are so damn many of them. <laughs> and it would probably make my game super laggy if we were to. There's nobody home right now. But I want our mom to be home. Oh, she's going to sit out. Sit out on the porch and do her homework. Do your homework, like, out here. Abby's curfew is in an hour. Sure, I'll come over in a little while. Okay, cool. So, Belle's coming on over. Um, I just want our mum to be in. She's going to sit and do her homework on the porch. No, she's not, because she can't. <laughs> um, her curfew is in an hour, but I want to see, like, I want to see our mum. Don't go home. Summer is finally a young adult with all the privileges and responsibilities of adulthood. Okay, that's weird. She uh, grew up before her brother did. That's a little bit strange, but oh well. <laughs> um, I just want to visit our little bro. What's he called? Jason. I want to visit Jason, but quite clearly we can't because our mum is never home. Congratulations, someone just got a new job, blah de blah don't really need to know that, to be completely honest. Ah, these two are complimenting each other. I think we should get these two to, uh, go steady. I think that would be cute. Is Belle here yet? Has she arrived? Not quite yet. Okay, Ice, we are gonna ask her to go steady. Um, romantic. Um... We're going to kiss her. Who's this? Is this Max? Is Max invisible? Nope. That is Belle. Belle is invisible. <laughs> um, Levi is now a toddler. Who is Levi? I can't remember who Levi is. Is he Danny's kid? Uh, is he Alexis's kid? I have no idea who Levi is. I have. I need to make a note of all the babies. Um... I guess we can go onto our family tree and see who Levi is. Um, no, they've got a girl and a boy, so it's definitely not... Oh, it snows. So Snow's baby boy has actually grown into a toddler, which is cute. So he is now a toddler, which is adorable. We're definitely going to have to visit him soon because we don't know him. And maybe he will join our daycare. I actually wanted her to come around, but... She was uh, freaking out a little bit, so I'll just send her back home. That's fine. She doesn't have to. Uh, she doesn't have to stay around. I actually want these two to go steady though, so we're gonna embrace her, and we are going to um, propose going steady, and then we are obviously gonna go try for a baby. I think we should try in the shower. I don't know what it is about the showers, but they kind of bring me good luck. So we're gonna go try for a baby in the shower and we're also gonna have her go to sleep she does not need to see this i think today uh tomorrow even um oh they're now in an exclusive relationship but i think tomorrow we'll have her have like a major bake sale because it is leisure day hopefully it will be sunny because i hate when it's raining in 
The Sims on leisure day because there's literally nothing left to do. But we'll probably have her bake some things and she can sell them in her little stand and stuff like that, which is going to be cute. So we're definitely going to do that during leisure day. But here we go. These two are going to go try for a baby. Hopefully we hear the noise. I want to hear the baby noise. Come on. We've got rooms for babies. We are all prepared. This is just what I need. Yes! The baby noise! We heard it! So she is actually pregnant, which is awesome. And they're both absolutely knackered, so we're gonna go have them head to sleep. But I think I'm gonna end this part here, guys. Sorry that it was a little bit shorter, but I want to play Leisure Day all as one day, so that's what we're gonna do in the next part. Abby's gonna have a major bake sale and hopefully earn some simoleons. I think it's really cute how she can hold bake sales. So we will definitely do that in the next part and I will also maybe try and invite Alexis over because she's never home and it's really starting to annoy me. Maybe because it is Leisure Day she might be home tomorrow. I just really want to meet um, Abby's baby brother. Uh, that's all I need Alexis for and we also need to meet Snow's child because I don't think we've met him just yet But he might come to daycare at some point which would be quite cute so we can have Lester and him How did her career go up? Okay, so her job experience went up quite a lot for letting Lester learn how to speak But thank you all so much for watching if you have any comments or suggestions do leave them down below I will definitely start like taking requests again and things like that. I am not going to do much drama between Ice and Devon because I do want them to be together and I do want them to have a baby. Um, Ice, um, not Ice, Alexis and Danny have their own lives now so I'm not going to cheat on either of them because they have their own lives and sorry if you guys wanted to see that but I kind of don't agree with it because they're all adults now and they've all grown up a lot, they've all got their own children and for the children's sake, none of that drama is going to happen. That's not to say that there isn't going to be drama because as soon as she ages up, I have a plan for her. <laughs> so she will definitely be the cause of drama. And also now that they're pregnant, maybe even with twins, who knows, maybe triplets. I hope to lord that it isn't triplets because I will cry. <laughs> but thank you all so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoy it. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did and I will speak to you all in my next video. Bye guys!